viewers to Mwenbuke Kejana. I'm going to take you through this question that is a logarithmic question on a logarithmic equation. But to realize that this is a kind of equation that um, will form an arithmetic sequence. Then uh, we want to do an example here that to find the value of uh, we have log x to x plus log x to x cubed plus log x to x power 5 plus up to log x to x power 2 n minus 1. We want to find the value of that. That means if you add this plus this up to how many times they are up to the last two. We don't know the number of times. So, so first of all, we need to know that uh, in logarithm, we talked about the laws of logarithms, the laws of logarithms. There are so many of them, but there's one that we have where we said that log, log of a to a is the same as one. So when you know that, you now go to the equation and try to use this uh, law well. So you will write that equation. You will write, will write the equation that becomes log x x plus log x x cubed plus log x x power 5 plus that is log x x power 2 n minus 1 is the same as now we use the same laws remember here we can bring these three back because we also know that um, uh, uh, in the laws of logarithm we also know that uh, log that is one we also know that log uh, log a if we talk about log a a cubed for instance or squared is the same as two log a a this is the same thing so we can also bring this back so we shall be adding log x x plus three log x x plus this becomes also five uh, log x x plus 2n that is we bring it here it becomes 2n minus 1 to n minus 1 log x x log x x so if we get that remember we substitute this one with 1 because we said log a is 1 so we shall be adding which is equal to 1 plus this becomes 3 plus this becomes 5 plus this becomes 2n minus 1, that is the last term. This now forms an arithmetic sequence. So in this arithmetic sequence, we can find the, the difference because um, this minus this is true, this minus this is true, so there is a, a, a difference of, but that is d, d equals to 3 minus 1, which is equal to 3, 5, it is 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. So that is our difference. So if we know the difference, remember what we are interested. So this uh, we are interested with the value, which is the sum. So we need to find the sum. Sum, we have two formulas. To find the sum, we usually say it is uh, n over 2 into 2a plus uh, 2a plus into bracket n minus 1 into b. That is when you are finding the sum and you know the number of terms. But in this case, we don't know the number of terms, but we know the last term. There is also another formula that says sum equals to n over 2 into first term, first term plus last term. So I think this one will now work for us, the second formula. Because we know the first term is uh, 1 and the last term we know it is 2n minus 1. So we can use that one to get the sum. So the sum which is our value equals to n over 2 into first term we know is 1 plus last term is um, 2n minus 1. So this is equal to n over 2 into this 1 minus 1 is 0 that is equal to 2n. So 2n, this is the same as uh, when you multiply, it is um, n over 2 times 2n, 2 and 2, so it becomes n squared. So the sum, all the value of that is n squared. So that is the value of this.
or that the value is n squared. So that is uh, how simple the question was. But from the look of it, you could have seen it as uh, so difficult and so hard to solve. Um, but it is a simple question if you just follow the laws of logarithm and also the formulas that you have learned in arithmetic sequence. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to my channel so that you get more updates on that are coming. Thank you.